All right, that's why we're out here? Yeah. We got in a crime stop. The sheriff department told us to get rid of them, so, okay. I mean, I respect the law now. Okay. Although this owner tossed out all his gambling machines. We're going to seize these machines, okay? It wasn't the case right. for others machines, during a late night raid in Richland County. They clearly showed that there were payouts, sh uh, clearly showed that there were betting machines. Um, it's a game of chance. Deputies collected four machines at one bar and arrested the owner for operating an illegal gambling house. I asked him about the poker machines and he said, I, I went past the date that the sheriff had put out. So he clearly knew he was breaking the law. Working off Crime Stopper tips, the community action team was on the hunt for businesses expected to have them. It's a poker room right here. They hook up the machine, they also smoke, you can smell all the marijuana and stuff. According to Lieutenant Gonzalez, cracking down on gaming can go a long way. What we tend to find is prostitution, narcotics, um, a lot of that street level crime is out there and a lot of the establishments that have these illegal gaming machines, they allow those type of folks to come around their business. Although gaming machine activity is illegal, law enforcement needs to physically have the machines in order to press charges related to gambling. He got these out of poker machines. 5, 10, 15. And even after pulling over a car full of cash, payout receipts, and a ledger, they could only charge the driver with an open container. However, even with law loopholes came success. In 24 hours, the Sheriff's Department pulled the plug on more than a dozen machines. In Richland County, Katie McKee, Watch Fox News.